Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Alisoft coming to you again with another retouching video. Okay, so today I want to talk about sharpening. Now I get a lot of questions from you know other photographers, aspiring photographers, retouchers asking, you know what? How do I sharpen my images? Your images are so sharp on Instagram. Well, thank you guys. I really, I'm really glad you like my images. How do I get sharpened images? There's, you know, first and foremost, make sure I nail focus, shoot with good lenses, use external flash. Yes, using external flash, whether you're shooting outdoors or indoors, will make your images sharper because it adds contrast. But that's a whole totally different discussion. Today, well, let's talk about going to talk about actually how to sharpen your images in Photoshop. All right, so I've got this picture here. Shot it a couple of weeks. No, not weeks, days ago. Um, done some really light retouching on it. Not my best retouching work, but you know, just cleaned up some of the little imperfections so we can have something clean to work on. All right, so the normal method that I see people using to sharpen the images is the high pass method and here's how it goes first thing first you duplicate your layer let's call it high pass all right we go to image we desaturate the image basically we take away all the color we go to filter other high pass maybe two to four pixels i'm going to use three and then we change it to one of the overlay hardness let's try overlay first so that's it you know really nice really cool you know all right now it's you know it's it, it works fairly well but one thing i've noticed is that it kind of tends to this sharpening method kind of tends to like sharpen mostly the highlights and i usually don't want my highlights like super sharp like if you look here now like look at the hair if i turn it off you see look here if you look towards here and when I turn it on, you see it's really white. But if you look towards the shadow areas, they don't really get like a lot of sharpening in the shadow areas. All right, so um, I came across this method. I can't really remember the photographer I learned this from, but it when I tried it, it worked for me because not only did it make the image sharp, but I kind of like got a lot of detail back in the skin. And we all, I know like when we're portrait fashion retouchers, we usually want like, our detail in the skin because we don't want our subjects looking like mannequins all right so um let's just get to it how i do the sharpening so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create two layers right duplicate your layer twice you're going to call the bottom one base you're going to go to call the top one let's call it blur yes it's blur i know blur you're wondering blur blur but we're sharpening yes blur all right so we're going to select these two layers and we're going to put them in a group I'm gonna call that group sharpen awesome right let's open it up now we're gonna to go to the blur layer we're going to invert that layer yes this is what it's gonna look like then we're gonna to go to filter and you guessed it we're gonna to go to blur and we're gonna run a surface blur in this image now we're gonna these settings the radius is 10 and the threshold is 8 now I've tried different methods this was what I learned these were the settings for the person I learned these are the settings that I learned and I have tried different radiuses and thresholds, you know, experiments, and I found that these are the best settings that work. So if you're going to do this method, stick to these settings. They work. All right, so we're going to run a surface blur on this image. Let it run. If you're now, this is an 8-bit file, so if you're working on a 16-bit file, it might take a bit longer. You know, you just have to wait. Um, then we're going to go and change the blending mode to vivid light, and it should look something like this. You know, wow, nice, awesome, right? next thing we're going to go to the folder itself now when you do a folder normally when you put a folder or a group it's usually like pass through we're going to change the blending mode to overlay and voila nice right look at all that detail just look at it it's like so awesome i mean it brought out like look at the shadow area you can see like we're seeing some more detail inside there like let's zoom out a bit Look at that. It's like everything is just super sharp and getting detail in the skin over here. Smooth those tiny pores on the neck, on the hair, you know. And let's try the high pass one. 
like if you see here it's like there can you see those like tiny let's go to the shoulder area can you see those white tiny flecks when I do the high pass one but look here when I turn this on wow look at that I'm getting back all those pores so guys this is basically how I sharpen my image if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up below you know subscribe to my channel I know I don't post a lot of videos yet you know work keeps me busy but I'm going to try and try and try my hardest to be posting more videos because I want to create a community here on this channel um, so you know give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel you know drop a comment below if you want to let me know what other videos you'd like me to make thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one peace